Dear your star friends and team, a warm welcome to my little cookery program. I was very keen to cook because I've done a stir fry, I've done a beautiful clafouti, I've done fantastic omelette. Now I would have been of meat, okay? It's a contrarian technique that my mom, or my mom would use all the time and is able to extract the best flavor, the best simple juices. Simply pan fried in a bit of butter, seasoned, lots of pepper, of course, and deglaze with water and you'll be amazed how delicious it is. As vegetables I'm going to do beans and potatoes. A nice pan fried potatoes. It's really lovely. Now we're going to cook the potatoes. Très bien, I've washed my potatoes. Those are organic so I don't need uh, to uh, peel them. They are good nutrients. Cut them in segments like that or you can do whatever you wish with it and we're going to golden them in uh, olive oil and butter. French beans like spinach, like all vegetables, there's a very simple way to cook them. Instead of boiling them in plenty of water, taking all the nutrients, the colors, the flavors, we're going to steam them within their own juice, with a little bit of water, a little bit of butter, très bien. And we've got all these beans here, like that, très bien. And we're going to put a little water, about 100 gram of water, and voila. A little bit of salt, not very much, proper salt. But this is olive oil salt full of chemicals, okay, but plain, a bit of black pepper. And you wouldn't believe it, but in your star, basically, I'm involved in the three kitchen in Burgundy, in Brussels, and in UK. And all what comes from UK is all local British produce. All what comes from France is local French produce. And it's the same for Belgium. It's really exciting. So effectively, our, our ethics are totally seasonal. It's lots, a lot of work, but it's very, very satisfying. I hope you really enjoy uh, what we do, okay, with an, an, the amazing team we have. I have great pride okay, in being part of this amazing team. Très bien, let's put that in a paper. So you prepare it, that's it. You leave it here, that's ready. Of course, being a chef, you plan ahead. Planning is everything. So you can do a lot of things in advance. You can prepare the potatoes. You can prepare your beans to be cooked at the last moment. When you cook, you start cooking the steaks, you start cooking the beans. They'll come out at the same time. Okay, separately from my potatoes, I'm going to do a bit of a persillade, which is a very, very French, Reeking of garlic, of course, shallots. I want the parsley here, well, that's très bien. All the parsley from my little garden. Leave the stalks in, no problem. And place it together. I'm sorry about that, I apologize. Not too tiny, not too small. Oh, this lovely smell of home. We're going to add garlic. A nice clove of garlic, maybe two, why not? So what you can do is to smash it up, and then you can do is that. So shallot here, très bien. I'm going to clean it up. So my potatoes are nicely cooking here. Okay, another two minutes, and we'll uh, drain them, and let all the steam escape, okay? So then, Voilà, in my persillade. So they're on full bowl, and now I'm going to drain them. All what you have to do is that. And I'm going to reuse that saucepan. Draw them all, leave them here, let the steam go away, okay? They're still very raw, so mix your persillade, okay? Which is garlic, parsley, and shallots. And that will go in the potatoes, in the beans, in the beans maybe. They're all completely dry. The steam has gone out of it. So now I'm ready to pan fry them. Just a bit of olive oil for our potatoes, voila. Salt, pepper, very little. You can always add more. You cannot take away. So now we are ready to cook the steak in about two minutes. I want my potatoes to be nicely colored. See, okay, that will take about 10 minutes. We already have a bit of color here. So slowly now, and of course you can put some of that lovely persillade inside here. 
So we've got some lovely chive garlic, okay, here. I'm sure we've got it in the house. Très bien, hop. Et voilà. So that's for, to put over the steak for my mom love. The great thing about cook, this type of cooking, you can prepare your beans in advance, your spinach, your broccoli, whatever, your kale, etc. So a bit of water, a bit of seasoning, a herb if you want to cover, ready to cook at the last moment. I'm going to put a little bit of butter because that's a dry fat, the olive oil, and the butter will give a lovely softening quality to the, to the potatoes. The potatoes are ready. I'll start the beans in a moment. So there's the water at the bottom. You can put a bit of garlic or whatever you want, salt, pepper. Okay. And we're going to put them full on and they'll steam within their own juices. So you don't boil them away and killing all the nutrients, flavors, textures, colors. Okay. Now we'll do my steak. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of butter. That's only 10 grams of butter. Meanwhile, I'm going to season my steaks. Lots of beautiful pepper, a little bit of salt. And I'm waiting here for my butter, that's very important, to be forming, crucial important. Forming and become noisette. Noisette means that the solid, that means the whey of the milk, is starting to brown through the heat. And the heat is usually 153 degrees when the noisette butter arrives. That gives a wonderful color, okay, to the meat. It's called the Maya reaction, okay? The potatoes are ready. Or I can leave them on the side, no problem. Easy. And my beans are full on, okay? It's going to be full on. You can actually add the persillade now. Not all of it, I'm going to go there. Oh, just oh, this. So I think I will taste one. Oh, it's test, test, test. Very important, what every chef do. Voila. Nice, no, not too, not too harsh. If it's harsh, you're going to overcook the top and the inside won't be cooked, okay? So you want really just a nice, gentle, you can hear beautiful sizzling, not aggressive whatsoever. Very quiet, very beautiful. So yeah, you see my beans are cooking here. And the trim it with the more seasoning. So that will take about three minutes on each side from medium ray for medium four minutes. Okay, it ends up to you. Okay, this steak will be a three star Michelin home cooking steak. I can show you, and you must do it in your own home. That is ready. Voila, this is a nice color. Voila, oh yes. Ah, really. Mm. Voila, a little bit more on that side. Why? To turn it twice, if you cook it three minutes on one side only, it's going to be dry. You will have that dry skin on the top. Why well, if you do it twice, one minute and a half, turn it, turn it one minute and a half, and, and, and so and so, four times. And then you have that. That will create the best jus. You possibly can. What we're going to do is to add water to it, just water. And believe me, this water will create an emulsion with the butter, with the juices that the meat has left underneath here. This wonderful sacks, okay, will be creating an emulsion when I put the water into it and create a fantastic jus. Mine are like with medium ray, so I'll stay for medium ray. French one. Voilà. And voilà. And you've got the water just cleaning up all the juices okay, inside here. So you've got all these lovely juices made naturally and we are ready to serve. So yeah, and you have that gorgeous jus look. Oh, mon dieu. Home cooking. You have the essence, the heart of the succulents of the meat here. Okay, if you have too much potatoes, you can do a lovely frittata. You can serve it with an omelette. Et voilà. You have really truly here the best of home cooking. So simple. And yet the flavors will be extraordinary. How can I show you? But you need a good meat, the best meat, grown organically if you can. 
and the best vegetables, okay? And local is so important to embrace his local values. Up to finish, voila, a bit of a charm if you want to. So bon appetit, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. A bientôt.